What's up, guys? We're back with another Ask a Pro 479 interview. Uh, I'm here with one of my good friends, <laughs> Melody Smith. Uh, she's the owner of Gallery, Gallery on Garrison and also Mel Prep, The Art of Cooking. Mm -hmm. All right? Right. So we do these interviews. I never really talk about why we do these interviews. A lot of people that I'm talking to in these interviews, I just genuinely like. I follow them on social media probably. I've seen a lot of their work and what they do. And I just support them. A lot of the people that we do interviews with, I actually, you know, invest back into their businesses oh, with, you know, buying things or whatever. So first of all, before we start, can I show them my piece? You can. So this is a piece that Melody put together. I came out to, uh, what was that? What, what event did I come to? One of the helpings. Yeah. Um, so it was, it was one That was the one year anniversary. Was it the one year anniversary? Mm -hmm. One year okay. anniversary of the Gallery Garrison. So she just had her one year anniversary right. a few weeks ago. Yep. And it was amazing. And I saw this piece and I fell in love. So can I open it? Sure. I'll see this piece. That's it. So I'm gonna sit this in front for a second. But tell me a little bit about that piece. What was the what was the motivation behind it? And well, it's how a, it come to life? It's a watercolor piece, and yeah. it actually kind of represents the fact that uh, beauty grows from darkness. We all have dark times in our lives and just like a tree uh, that grows from the cold dark ground yeah. beautiful things can grow from your dark periods yeah so i it, it spoke to me immediately and without her telling me that meaning that's what i saw yep and another thing i saw sure was that it was a woman and you know trees to me symbolize life mm -hmm. so everything comes from a woman absolutely and that's what that's, that's what i saw when i seen that piece she um, i'm gonna move my piece out of the way but you know she's got a lot of beautiful art here and uh we definitely wanted to sit down with melody and talk about her origin how she got started you know in this business okay and uh so how did you get started um in entrepreneurship just in general well i was actually uh my entire adult life i spent in corporate sales okay and so about six years ago six and a half years ago um, I just made the decision to walk away from, I was a pharmaceutical sales rep at the time, and okay. I made the decision to walk away from that to pursue an art career. Yeah. And I spent the first year, first four years just trying to build something yeah. and um, about start that first couple years. <laughs> <laughs> there really is a thing such as a start artist, but yeah. um, here I am uh, six and a half years later with my own gallery, so. Still standing. It takes That's a lot of grit and a lot of hard work, but if you mean it, you can do it. Yeah, absolutely. And it's just a beautiful, you know, it's in the heart of Fort Smith on Garrison Avenue. Right, I love it. So, you know, people can just walk in um, and just come and enjoy your art. So when you started into um, your first, you know, business, because mm -hmm. you own several businesses now, but when you got into art, what was something that scared you? You said, you, you said, hey, look, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna pursue this pharmaceutical reps, if you guys don't know, can make a lot of money if you're successful. So to walk away from that, you know. Yeah, it was a scary time. Yeah. I, I mean, there was, the scariest part was walking away knowing that I wake up every day with no income unless I do something about it. Absolutely. And then no insurance. No 401k. Yeah. So when you, when you just first starting the business, you you really can't. I I personally couldn't afford all those things. Yeah. You can't so rely on anybody. I just powered through without it until I could start building it. And I started out with a, a Gypsy Paint Party, which is a paint and sip company. Okay. So we I instruct people drink wine, and everybody has their own little station for with paints and canvas, and we do we do a lot of those. And I'm still doing them, but that's kind of where that was my bread and butter. Yeah. Paint and sip parties, and we were traveling at the time. So I would load all the all the supplies up, you know, the canvases, the easels, the paints, everything up, and take it to people's homes or to restaurants and do paint and sips. That's kind of how. But that's being coming from pharmaceutical sales. That was probably natural to you anyway, because you're traveling mm -hmm. with that. Yes. Going to you know face to face, which is the toughest sales you can be right. in. Selling houses is a lot easier than going face to face. Hey. Cold you calling. This, yeah, cold <laughs> calling. Do you want to buy this piece of machinery? And not my favorite. Yeah. So you know, for you, wow. How long have you been doing art? Is this some, been something you've been doing your entire life? I have I have been creating art most of my life. I, I began doing it as a young child to escape a bit of a volatile childhood. Okay. And it truly, I believe art truly saved me. And that I could be a crazy person right now. Well, <laughs> I may be a little crazy, crazy but. No, I'm uh, crazy. Yeah, so I mean, I've, I've actually been creating art for a very long time. Yeah. 
and you, you create beautiful pieces and everything has a meaning. And then you also mm -hmm. give other artists a platform to come in Absolutely. and share their art, which I think is really cool. You know, even if it isn't about you, you still bring people Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Hey, come display your art, come show people what you got, you're promoting it, mm -hmm. bringing people in. It's, I think it's just the coolest thing. Why do you feel that um, you should be the vessel to bring other people's art to the world? Well, because I've actually been there and tried to figure out how to get my name out there and how to get my work out there. And, uh, if, you know, aside from social media, where can I actually put my art where people can see it and, and want to buy it possibly? So uh, the idea behind opening the gallery was truly was to give other artists like myself a place to be, a platform, and a place, the, our community, a place to gather. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful art and local artists. And, and, and like you said, somebody, you know, there has to be, all of you are creatives. And your minds are a little, like, from what I know about creative people, oh, yeah. your minds is run a little bit different, um, which can kind of talk yourself out of stepping out and doing something on your own as far as opening a gallery, signing a lease, saying, or buying a building and saying, hey, look, if this is a space where I'm going to sell my stuff, other people can come in. And I think I think I really admire that because I, I know a little about creative minds and it's hard <laughs> for you to make some of those decisions. Yeah, um, it was hard. I mean, there were, at the beginning, I thought, I was, you know, maybe I would just show my own work. But that didn't even last the first month. <laughs> I, I I really felt like other artists needed the opportunity as well. Sharing that platform, I think that's cool. So next business I want to talk about is meal prep. Mm -hmm. M E L yep, prep. Meal, meal prep, the art of cooking. Yeah. So it's a clean eating uh, meal prep business, and I I rent a, a catering kitchen over at the bakery. So it's an industrial kitchen that I cook out of. I cook on Mondays and deliver or people pick up their orders on Tuesdays. And our meals are creative, they're, they're always fresh, never frozen. Many of our customers order for full week. You just go onto our line, um, www, online to www.mealprepyum.com okay. to check out our menu every week. Okay, and we're gonna plug that website in the description of this video so you guys can you know, eat healthy and check out some of our <laughs> food. I haven't tried it just yet, so I'm, I feel a little bit bad and I support you. <laughs> I know um, you do. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna buy me a family meal. So she does meal prep, um, you know, small containers of food, um, or not small containers, the appropriate portion mm -hmm. of food. Um, so we're gonna do some family meals. We got those crazy kids at home and they're oh, always yeah, looking for something to eat. Yeah, you need it. <laughs> So what was the motivation? What was the motivation behind that business? And how uh, long ago did you? Actually, that? what happened there was um, uh, about three years ago. Uh, I have a group of girlfriends, and we we would get together once a month. Yeah. And somebody suggests, and uh, let me back up a little bit. There's there were seven women, and out of those seven, five of them didn't cook at all. Oh wow. They did not cook at all. So <laughs> one of them said, "Mel, you should do our meal prep," because I was doing all the cooking for those groups. They would you know, get the ingredients together or give me the cash for it and I'd go buy the stuff and we would, and I would cook all the meals. And so they enjoyed my cooking and that's actually how meal prep started. Yeah. I had no intention of starting a meal prep business. Just natural organic. So I started doing it in the very, uh, I cooked for my, there were four women that ordered, those women that ordered meals that first week. And then it just went from there, word of mouth. Yeah, so I've had her chicken and waffles. <clears throat> and I know this won't be in the meal prep, that's okay. But I, the next time I cater something, she will be making chicken and waffles. It is absolutely amazing. I forget what else. I want to say you made mac and cheese and some other things. As I well. did. It was a huge yeah. spread. It was so delicious. Good. Yeah, we do catering as well at meal prep. So if you have a small, small to medium catering event, hit me up. Yeah, it was amazing food, good quality. Unfortunately, by the time I got to the event, everybody picked through the food and it's like, man, you didn't say chicken and waffles is one of my favorite meals. So I really appreciated you making that. So uh, any catering needs, um, you can go to her Facebook page, which is Mill Prep. Do you have the meal, meal prep yum.com. Okay, meal prep yum.com. So we'll plug that in. Lastly, I just want you to plug in any events that you have coming up, anything you're excited about with okay. your business. Um, let the people know so they can support. Okay, well, we're getting ready here at the gallery on Garrison. We're getting ready to do some collaborations with TK Rakowski at Just Art and Dance. And he will be teaching a couple of um, paint and sit parties. One of them is Ju July 9th. The next one is July 16th. And then on July 22nd, we're doing a yoga paint and sit. Okay. So we'll have champagne and mimosas, a yoga session. And while you're doing your yoga, you'll be creating art with your body. So, take your art home. So I've done yoga and I've done art and I'm not good at either. 
<laughs> How can somebody do both of those at the same time? It, go to our page, uh, our Facebook page, and go to the events and look it up. If there's a picture photo there that kind of show you a little bit about what it's about. Okay. It is a lot of fun. You do not need any, any artistic talent. And <laughs> I've never done yoga before, so this will be my very first one, but I'm excited to give it a shot. Yeah, I think you'll be great, and I think it'll be fun. Um, my friend Stephanie Stippens is actually going to be the yoga instructor. Shout out to Stephanie. So one thing about Fort Smith, people always say there's nothing to do. It's not innovative. There's nothing going on. Well, this is something that you can do. You have plenty of stuff Absolutely. going on in Garrison Avenue. You hang out, you have some food, then you come down to the gallery. You know, this is a part of, you know, this is in the heart of Fort Smith. So this is an area on Garrison Avenue, downtown Fort mm -hmm. Smith, where we're really, really pushing. And there's a lot of people in our community pushing to make this the place to be. You know, come out and support. If you're downtown, just stop by. It's always open most of the time. I mean, mm -hmm. what, what yeah, are your hours here? Our hours are Tuesday through Friday, noon to 6.30, and then Saturday, 10 to 3. We have an opening reception for new artists that come in every month. Okay. So it's most of the time, it's the first the first Saturday of every month. We'll have an opening for all right, so you get. Uh, or actually, I bought that, but it was a gift because it's a piece of a piece of you. There's no, there's no dollar amount we could put on that. I'm so uh, glad you're taking that particular piece. Home. Open up your gift. It isn't oh. as awesome as what I gave oh. you, but thank you. you know. I like it for oh, yes. Show <laughs> sure, everybody what you got. I love it. You got one more. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. You got a black and a white one. I love it. So, you. Um, you know, I we love her. I love her personally, but she's also extremely, extremely talented. And this is the first, I guess, art piece, real art piece, that we're gonna have in our house. So I'm really, really excited. Hopefully many more to come. Yeah, so thank you so much. Anything thank else you want to plug in or you think Just come down to the gallery on Garrison. Um, our next opening is July 10th, 6.30 to 8.30. We've got a couple of very talented artists from Northwest Arkansas. Well, thank you so much for, thank for, you for, 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 for getting on this camera. I know sometimes <laughs> we don't love this camera, but thank you so much. Um, you guys support Gallery on Garrison, support Mill Prep. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you, Josh. Thank you.